Larry Gross here, mountainstage.org is where you can hear the show if it's not on your public radio station. And we are down in Bristol, Tennessee, Virginia as guests of the birthplace of Country Music Alliance. We come down here every year and we try to have a show that shows a little bit of the, both the roots and the branches of country music because this is the place where the most important uh, early country music recordings were made back in 1927. And I guess you'd say uh, a man who is in that tradition somewhere, perhaps in the branches, uh, is Mr. Justin Towns Earl. Harlem River Blues is the name of his new CD. It's his third full-length CD. He's put out four recordings, but uh, three full-length album CDs. And this one is, a uh, matter of fact, as we talk here in August, it's not supposed to be released, I believe, till September. Isn't that right? So it's absolutely brand new, recorded down in Nashville. Uh, but before we get to the record, we were just talking, and you told me that uh, you were born and raised in Nashville, but this area here around Bristol, you, you, uh, you left home and, and moved out here yeah. early, early on. How old were you when you did that? I was 15. 15? Yeah, I do believe. I was living in uh, Gray, Tennessee, right off of Boone's Creek Road with a couple of local idiots. <laughs> and you, started, you, already were, you already were playing and singing, but you, you, you spent that time there. Were you, were you playing out then? Yeah, we used to play at a, a bar called Taps. Um, I can't remember exactly where it is, and, and a place called The Horseshoe, yeah. which were ruffian bars. Did they know you was 15? Uh, yeah, they didn't care. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's kind of what I figured. Yeah. <laughs> they probably didn't care, but at least you got a chance to go in there and play in an in a audience that was probably not the easiest in the world. Uh, no, no, it definitely was an audience that, that uh, thickened your skin up a little bit. Yeah. Got the dishes on the counter, got the clothes on the floor Mama weeks with the trash sitting there by the door You see, your, your feet are tired and your fingers are sore But Mama, I don't care about no household chores Baby, Mama, Lord, I've been coming home, baby Woman, you've been sleeping in the middle of the bed too long yeah. I write really slowly, so, you know, it takes me you know, all of a year to write. I finished writing the last song, which was the Harlem River, was the title track, the Harlem River Blues, about a week before we walked into the studio to do it. Um, but uh, it's kind of just, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a hillbilly that lives in, you know, in, in the East Village, you know, and it's kind of, you know, I was trying to find a way to, to connect, the, uh, you know, New York City with, the, the roots of New York City with my roots, and it was, um, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Actually, mm. I thought it was, uh, but um, but because I've kind of figured, because you know, Woody Guthrie did it, right? Dylan did it, right? You know, and so it's it was. Um, I was just trying to find to find a new a new spin to put it in. Lord, I'm going uptown to the Harlem River to drown. Dirty water gonna cover me over, and I'm not gonna make a sound. Lord, I'm going. Town, to the Harlem River to drown. Dirty water gonna cover me over, and I'm not gonna make a sound. If if you're a songwriter that doesn't have a, a very very good understanding of Woody Guthrie, then you need to quit writing songs um, because he was kind of, he was you know before Woody Guthrie there were there were songwriters and there were performers. And you know, and he was really the first singer-songwriter, you know, just really, really to speak of, um, the first one that really made it. Um, he wasn't doing, you know, all traditional songs, and and he was he was writing all his most of his own material, and and uh, but you know, following the roots of what he what he was born, what he was raised in. What about the like the political social activist side of what he got? At least he's seen that way. You you identify with that too? Um. I do. Um, I, ch I choose not to uh, put it uh, put it across in my music, though, because I don't I don't feel that anybody deserves to be alienated in a in a public place. Yeah. You know, I think that um, you know, not that I I don't I don't have much love for the Republican Party, but just because you're a member doesn't mean that you can't come to my, one of my shows and not right. not feel like you got a spotlight on you. Well, when John Henry died, he lay looking at the 
son, he said, Lord, take me now, my work is done. Lord, 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 take me now, my work is done. Yeah, but when they laid him out in that box of pine, boy, laid that hammer by his side, Lord, Lord, laid that hammer by his side. Oh. I really came up here just because it was, you know, it was, it is the, you know, the birthplace of country music, and I wanted to, I wanted to kind of get with some of the, you know, get with some of the players and, and you know, see, because, you know, see people like Bill and Janice Birchfield, you know, Roan Mountain Hilltoppers and stuff like that, um, being able to see them up close, and that was, some, uh, was something that I felt was very important, because, um, you know, we don't have a whole lot of the, you know, the older, the older players left, you know, and, um, you know, and, I, and then I left. You know, I wanted to get into blues, and um, and I moved. So I, moved, I wanted to like look at blues a lot. So I moved to Chicago when I was 17, and uh, stayed up there for a while, and, and then you know went back to Nashville when I had gathered my information. Yeah, yeah. And it's all come out now uh, through your own sensibility. A lot of these things. Yeah. With your own added uh, touches and your own added flavor. Yeah. I'm waking up feeling bad again And I'm losing patience with my only friend now Why do I try my luck? I should never touch the stuff But it shouldn't make any difference, mama As long as I keep up appearance And now I've been working too hard I need some time at home, babe. Slipping and sliding, feeling low. It's always uh, good to hear Mr. Justin Towns. Earl Harlem River Blues is the CD, and if you can't uh, hear the whole show, you'll, he's going to do several tunes on Mountain Stage. Uh, if you can't hear it on the radio, then check it out at mountainstage.org, and your website is? JustinTownsEarl.com. Check it out.